Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be teaching you everything that you need to know in setting up your own bucket server for Minecraft 1.7.2, 1.7.3, 4 and so on like that. So what you want to do is, first of all you want to download these two things. They will both be in the de description and first is the bucket server. Uh, you just want to click the development build and click download. I already have it downloaded so speed up time. And you just want to go on the thing that I sent you in the description and download that as well. And have both of them there. So after you've both downloaded them, all you want to do is make a folder on your desktop or wherever you want to save stuff and just right click new folder. I'm just going to name it craft bucket server. And you want to drag both of these files into it. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to right click the craft bucket file that I gave you and then you just want to click extract. And then I would extract and then just delete this file. You don't need it anymore and then click OK. And now what you want to do, you want to go into your C drive. So here I am in my C drive and you want to make sure that, or you want to check that if you have program files only, or if you have program files and um, if you have something like this, program file times 86. If you have this, then that means you have a 64-bit computer in which um, in the thing you have to select 64-bit. But since I only had um, only one program files, that means I have a 32-bit. So just go into a 32-bit one if you have a 64 going to a 64 one and drag the start server thing onto your desktop or into the folder I should say okay so I just drag it into the desktop now you really don't need this file anymore so I'm just gonna delete it delete okay and then just drag it in now you wanna right click it click edit and then you wanna click run now I'm just gonna tell you what this basically does all it does is tracks down Java so tracks on Java notice how I have 32 bits so I don't have the times I don't have like the times 86 here if I did then that would mean I'm um, seven um 64 bit so yeah that just tracks on Java and it runs this this file and as you can see here here's a file craftbucket.jar but here it's like a very long name so all you want to do is right click click rename and change to craftbucket make sure it's the exact same name as the name here or it won't work and here all you want to do is change the memory so it's really your choice. Since I have a 2 GB computer, I'm just going to change it to 512 MB by 512 MB. If you have like a 32 GB computer, I'd suggest like using 16 um, GB on the server and you can just do the online conversion. It has to be an MB and these both numbers have to be the same. So yeah, when you've done that, just click save. And now all you want to do is you want to right click this and click open. Then I'll say this, then you just want to run it and now it's gonna extract all the files okay so as you can see it's done and the first first time it takes pretty long so it took me 116 seconds to do it and yeah now we have all these files so all you wanna do in CMD is just close it out and now what you wanna do is what I'm gonna tell you is how to change your server so that I can work with any version of Minecraft you see this crap bucket file here when Minecraft 1.7.8 or like Minecraft 2.0 releases, the craft bucket server is going to release for that. All you want to do is you want to drag that craft bucket server into this, and then you want to just right click it, rename it, and change it to craft bucket just like this. And I want to delete all these excess files. You just want to keep this craft bucket one and the start server one because they're going to be different. So you just want to double click the start server again, then it's going to slowly extract the Minecraft 2.0 craft bucket, if that makes sense. Okay, so all you want to do now is you want to right click. First, you want to find the server, you want to right click it, click properties. And you want to make sure you ch change it so it opens with notepad. So, notepad. And now you just want to open it up. So here, it's basically settings that you want to adjust. So, generator setting, don't worry. Allow another true level name. I'll get back to that. Um, server port, leave that all it is. Level seed, if you want to be like cheaty and add a seed. Force game mode, false. Mm, you know basic stuff hardcore if you want to change to on resource pack pvp true player versus player difficulty i'll change my intellect for um game mode obviously survival and uh, moted yeah um my craft bucket server okay so for server ip you really want to make sure you pay attention to this what you want to do is you want to go into command prompt and you want to type in IP config. Now, as you can see here, a bunch of stuff has loaded up, which is all blocked. And you just want to pay attention to this IPv4 address. That's the address that you want to enter there. So I'm just going to enter that. I'll be. OK, 
Okay, so I entered mine here. It's gonna be blocked because you know it's private. And one more thing you want to change is you want to find online online mode, and just want to change that to false. So now we have everything we need to know and this level name. Level name is basically your world name. So if you wanted to play on a Minecraft server server that you played by yourself, all you would have to do is go into percent update a percent, drag the world into this into this folder, change it to whatever the name is. The perfect like ex it has to be exactly the name. So if my name was like um. If my Minecraft, um, you know, thing name was like, I don't know, good, if that was my name, then I'd have to change this to good, then it then it would load good the end, good nether, and then just good itself, and then, then you would play on your thing. But since I don't have a server, and I just want to create, since I don't have a world, and I want to create another one, um, this will just be world. And yeah, then you just want to click file, save, close this out. And now you're just basically done. Now all you gotta do is just start the server. Okay, so now you're pretty much done. All you have to do is log into your server. But before we do that, I'm just gonna go over a few more settings if you wanna mess with some of these. So, um, ban players, it's kinda pretty obvious. All you do is just open it and just enter the player's name. So, you can just enter it. So, like, I'm just gonna enter, you know, Bob. And then any Bob that wants to join, he can't join. And then, you know, just save it. Um, no, don't save this whitelisted. It's basically just people. It's it, it's like a whitelisted service. So the only people that you write here. So if I write like Bob one, Bob two, only Bob one and Bob two can join my server and myself as well. No one else. That's that. An operator. Operator is basically like the main op. He can kick people out, do stuff like that. So, um, if my name was main op, so I would just write my name here. And then I could just add like an other players as well that are in my server. So these people could like change their game mode, cheat, you know, stuff like that. Operator. Like like the name. So yeah, that's that. And yeah, you don't really need to mess with the other ones. And as you can see here, my server is done. So I'm going to quickly open up Minecraft and let's see if this works. Okay, so Minecraft has loaded up. And basically all you do is just click. Oh, hold on one sec. Okay, sorry about that. I thought that voice was coming from somewhere else, but it's just the Minecraft music. So, anyways, just click multiplayer, and you want to click add server. And here you can just change your server name. I'm just gonna make it a uh, craft bucket server. And server address. You want to type in your IP address here. So the one that we found in command prompt. The uh, remember the IP config one. So just type in that one there. So mine's gonna be blocked as I type it. And then just click done. Okay, so as you can see, here is our server. So all you want to do is you just want to click it, click join, and that's how you basically make a server. So now what I'm going to talk about is how you make other people join your server. So as you can see, we can easily join our server. It'll just load as I'm recording, anyways. So, how you make other people join your server is called 